Hi everyone. Let's do a reading. So whatever the cards want to say, whatever wants to come out, this may or may not be our energy group. I do channel multiple, multiple energy groups on here. So only take it if it resonates. Adjudication, child, community, mature man. Wealthy man. High honor. Unexpected income. Hmm. What is this energy? Adjudication, child, community, mature man. Bear with me, guys. I gotta look at this for a second and see what I can pick up. I feel like... Is there something with a custody battle here? Concern, coffin, message of concern, change, courthouse, courtship, poverty, lovers. I need to, I need to use tarot for this actually. It's like there's someone trying to get away with something here. There's someone, there's some kind of wealthy man high honor and unexpected income someone's trying to someone's doing something illegal is what I'm getting and they might even face jail time for it what is this what is the situation because I'm not getting as you guys know I primarily channel and when I look at this guy I don't get a good energy and I don't usually feel that but I'm looking at this wealthy man and I'm not I'm feeling like a shady like a con man, you know, like a con man, like a, like a shady businessman kind of energy. Like I'm not, it's not good, whatever it is. What is this wealthy man trying to do? Let me actually, give me, bear with me guys. I'm gonna, what's this? What's this wealthy man trying to do? Justice, queen of swords. Knight of Wands. Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands. This Queen of Swords has justice on her side. I see it almost like he's trying to charge... And she's blocking it. She's like, no, this is my justice. This is my, I deserve this. Like, I've earned this. I'm seeing her in a positive light. She, she's blocking this man. And he's getting, he's, he's almost, it's like he's hitting a wall and he's reaching rock bottom. Ten of Wands is like, we've got the Nine of Wands, which is like the wounded warrior. Somebody's exhausted. They're coming at this Queen of Swords with a lot of passionate energy, fiery energy, conflict. But Ten of Swords is like the straw that broke the camel's back. So if you're this Queen of Swords, you're, you're being guarded. You're winning this battle. Whatever this battle is, we're going to look more into it. But you're being guarded to stand your ground. Stay in your power. You're going to have this justice. Justice is on your side. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Um... Because this, this man, this, this man that's coming in with like a knight of wands energy trying to charge at you, trying to, trying to take what's rightfully yours or trying to steal or do something shady here, you're, you're going to have um, success. You're going to have some kind of, it could be like a legal battle for somebody. Um, full disclaimer, I cannot give any legal advice. I don't, if you get a reading from me, I do not do pregnancy or legal questions or health questions. I can't do that. Uh, you know, as a disclaimer, we have to, we have to say these readings are for entertainment purposes only. 
But anyway, this man is breaking. It's, it's your spirit guides are wanting to let you know that justice is on your side. And this man is breaking. This man is he's 10 of wands. He's getting exhausted. It's like he's fighting himself. He's trying to you're really being strong. You're really being strong with the queen of swords. He's trying to come at you. He's trying to tear you down. He's trying to hurt you. He's trying to block you from getting your justice. I feel like this is getting heavy. I feel like for some, and I keep, I'm sorry. Like, I hope, like, do you guys need a trigger warning when I, when I do these readings? Because occasionally in my readings, like, as you guys know, I do channel. Occasionally I do get like sexual, you know, issues. I don't know if you guys want a trigger warning for that. Um, you know, but I, I am getting for somebody here. This is like somebody that, um, they, they, they forced you, they forced you, they had their way with you. And you're, you're going to court and you're trying to, um, you're, you're trying to, someone did something to you. Someone did something to you. They stole something from, from you or you had, they had their way with you. Um, they, I get a really bad energy from this person. It's like, they want to control you. They want to tear you down. And if you have to be careful to don't let them, don't let them win keep stay strong don't let them even if you're breaking even if you're upset don't let them see it don't don't give this piece of shit the power don't give them the power over you but yeah for someone i'm sorry i sorry i know this is triggering but you know this is what's coming through for for one of you i feel like this this court case or this legal battle it's and for some of you it's not a legal battle for most of you i feel like it's a legal battle but for some this could just be someone that's trying to tear you down they're trying to take what's rightfully yours they're trying to possibly do something illegal or something shady here we're going to get more into it but uh, what i'm feeling here it's like i just feel I, i'm almost like i'm getting emotional looking at because she's been through so much She's really, she's really doing, she's, it's like, I'm feeling her pain right now. It's like, she's tired. She's upset. She's, she's, you know, kind of, she's in this, like, why did this happen to me kind of energy? So I am feeling like for someone, it was that they, they forced you. Um, and you're trying to get evidence against them. Or they did something like they stole from you, or they did something that really betrayed you. And I think it was illegal. And I feel like you're, you're trying to get some kind of evidence in court for some, this is like a custody battle. We're going to we're gonna get more into it. Just bear with me. But I think you're being guided to... It's saying to stay strong. This person is going to break. This person... You do, have, you do have your spirit guides supporting you through this. Even if you're alone right now, you do have a lot of spiritual support on the other side. Your soul group, your spirit guides, you are supported. You are protected. This person's... They're not going to show it. They're going to keep coming at you with this fiery energy trying to... Maybe they're trying to blackmail you. They're trying to to scare you. They're gonna break down. They're trying to fight, but they're gonna they're gonna break down. They're not gonna be able to to handle this for much longer. For some, I feel like this man's trying to get custody of his kids, but he's like lying about this woman. He's trying to make her out to look crazy or dramatic. It's like he's doing something to make her look bad. And it's bullshit. It's like he's doing he's doing something shady. Let's see. Let's look into this. What is this Knight of Wands doing? What is he trying to do to this woman? You need to be mindful because this person, this is the kind of person that just they need control. So you do need to you you do need to protect yourself. You do need to like, you know, keep the doors and windows locked and be safe. But you know, know that justice is on your side. What did this man do? This woman. Five of Cups, Ace of Swords, Three of Swords. I feel like she lost something because of him. The truth came out, and there's a there's a heartbreak here. Wheel of Fortune. Then we have the. She had to stand her ground. Knight of Cups. For some, I just feel like it's like a custody battle, but it's like you're actually a really good mother. Um, and he like, like he like abandoned the kids or something. And he's trying to, I just keep feeling like he's trying to do something illegal. Like he's trying to, either he already did something illegal, like he robbed you or he violated you or he did something to you that was, that he could do jail time for. 
um, and you're being guided to just stay strong because, you know, he is breaking down. He might not, he, he's probably coming at you harder than ever because he's in that final, um, it's like, you know, when you're fighting a battle and like you're, you're at that 10 of one, like nine, 10 of wands energy where you're about exhausted, but you give it your last shot, like just everything you got. So this man might be coming hard at this woman now because he's tired. He's, she's winning and he doesn't like that. So he's giving it, he's not wanting to show that he's losing. He's not wanting to show how exhausted he is. So he's giving it one final shot, just trying to come at her with everything that he's got. And you might be, you might be feeling really upset and just defeated right now. And you might be tempted, like he might be blackmailing you and you might be tempted to just kind of cave. You might be in that energy of you're like, I'm just, I don't want to do this. Like this could be like somebody that wants to win you back, like an abusive ex or something that's like trying to get you back. And so they're threatening to go to your friends or your family, or they're trying to, they're trying to get something over you. They're trying to get something over your head. Um, they're trying to exhaust you. And, you know, your spirit guides are saying, you know, for one, justice is on your side. I do see it likely if this is your story. I do see it. It's likely that this man will end up going to jail, but you have to stay strong. And again, you can break down crying all you want behind closed doors, like like be depressed behind closed doors, cry all you want behind closed doors, like let your emotions flow, but do not show these people any of that. Don't let them see it. Um, cause he's, cause yeah, I get like the energy. It could be like an abuser and they're trying to get you back. They're trying to pull you back in. Um, and they're, so they're trying to like threaten, like, you know, friends or family, or they're trying to, they're trying to get you to cave. It's like the energy I get is whatever it is, this person's trying to get you to cave. And your spirit guides want you to know that they actually, that this man actually is close to giving up. And as I've said on my channel, like there's no gender. If you're, um, if th this could be two men, this could be two women. This could be a man that's dealing with an abusive woman or a toxic woman. Just take it as it resonates. You know, don't get, you know, no matter what I say, don't ever get caught up on the gender. It's, it's whatever, whatever gender applies here, whatever works, you know, uh, you know, you know what the story is, take it, take it how it fits. But anyway, yeah, take it as it resonates. But but yeah, anyway, it's, it's like it could be an abuser for some. And it's like they're just whatever it is. It's like they're trying to break this queen of swords down. This person is very um, abusive, manipulative. I get a very bad energy from this knight of wands, a very um, kind of evil kind of narcissistic energy from this person. And I just get the sense that it's like they're trying to break this woman down. It's like they're trying to. Um, it's almost like a poker game. And it's an illusion. What your spirit guides are, what, what this, what your spirit guides want this queen of swords to know is it's an illusion. They actually are exhausted. They actually are, they're, they're, they're pulling out whatever they have left. So they have like a little, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're it's that last final battle where they're close to just having to give up. They're close to just being defeated and exhausted from, from trying so hard to, to hurt you or, or break you down or whatever they're trying to do. It's, it's like they're, they're at that point where they're just exhausted, but they're going to give it one last shot, everything they got. And you need to be strong and you need to protect yourself, protect your family, stay in your power. Don't show them how you're feeling. Don't show your hand. Um, and don't let them manipulate you. Don't let them, don't let them, they're going to try something. You know what I mean? Like they're going to try this person's like an abuser. So I get like they're going to try whatever they can to, you know, to kind of pull you back in. They're going to try any any manipulation tactic they can they can have over you. They're going to try it. And you really are being guarded, gu guided to stand your ground. Your spirit guide wants you to know that you also do have new love coming in at some point, that you're not going to just be alone because some of you are like, this is it. Like, but you are, you are at some point in the future, you are going to have love again is what you're, what they're wanting you to know. Um, but yeah, you're really being guarded to keep standing your ground because this person is going to break down. They are going to, they are going to have to give up, but they're not, again, you're going to see the opposite of that. What's, what's going on internally is they're, they're stressed, they're pissed off, they're losing they're upset. They, they don't like this. They're exhausted. They're, they're, they're at that breakdown point, but what they're going to show you, they're going to look like they're more powerful than ever. They're going to try to, you know, again, cause they're giving it that final attempt where they throw everything into, into, you know, doing this to you. 
Um, so you need to you need to stay strong. Tell me more about this. Ten of Pentacles, King of Wands. Yeah, they want to break your foundation, but you're not. You know, you're you're gonna have a King of Cups at some point that's gonna come in. They're not gonna be able to break your foundation. This person's like evil though. I get like abusive, like physically, like probably physically abusive person person that I'm channeling here. Um, yeah, I'm getting that they're doing something. What are they doing that's like what is the illegal energy I'm getting? Because I feel like maybe they're, like, lying about you in court. Like, if it's, like, a custody battle, it's, like, this man is, like, lying about you in court. But they're going to they're gonna be found out. Like, their story is, um, like, your spirit guides are working on something behind the scenes where it's, like, their story isn't going to add up. Or they're doing something. For some, it's, like, they're stealing from, like, a company or they're doing something shady behind the scenes. And they're going to get found out. For some, they could be stealing from their own company, like, stealing out of a... Like, they're doing something illegal. Yeah, because their wishes aren't going to be fulfilled. Whatever it was, they thought they could get away with this, and they can't. That karmic cycle is closing. It's playing out how it needs to play out, because, like, for some, it's like I've said, I think your spirit guides are working on something where it's like, if they are lying about you in court... They're gonna get found out, and they're gonna have they're they're gonna end up going to jail for lying to the to the court, um. Because it's like for some, it's like if it's a custody battle, like they're making stuff up about you to make you look bad in court, or like if it's um if they like abused you or assaulted you, it's like they're trying to say that they, you know, they're trying to pretend like they didn't do that. But there's evidence that's coming forward. There's evidence that's gonna come to light. I think. Um, or like maybe there's even another woman that was also abused by this person that's going to see this, you know, going on and come forward and be like, hey, this person abused me too. And I actually do have evidence against against them. I do have evidence that this happened to me. You know what I mean? It's it's like you're going to you're going to have some kind of support. Um, there's going to be some kind of evidence. Like your spirit guides are looking for evidence against this person. You know what I mean? Like, like, like the, the, uh, divine justice is in your favor. Like the spiritual court is in your favor, which might play into the physical, the actual physical, you know, judge, jury, all that. Um, but yeah, it's like, they're having a lot of anxiety because they thought whatever this was, they thought they could get their wish fulfillment. They thought they could take something from you. This could be like an employee of yours or like a manager or someone that was like, like this person was like stealing money from the company or they're like, like I'm getting something about like putting money into like different bank accounts or they were doing, they did something. I just keep getting they did something illegal, whether it was physically assaulting you or whether it was like stealing money or like lying in court to get custody. There's a few different stories here, but I'm getting that this person did do something that was like, like could like they lied or they did something that could get them in trouble with uh the court system is what I'm feeling. Yeah, they're having a lot of anxiety because it's not panning out how they hoped. They thought that yeah, they thought that they thought they could get away with this, have their wish fulfillment, and it's not happening. Tell me more about this. For some, your child is worried about you right now. If you have a child, that ch your child is um, your child is you. You think that you're you think that your child isn't picking up on your energy, but they actually are, and they're worried about you. Or you could have an animal that's picking up on your energy. You have someone that's picking up on some innocent innocent. I think I don't think it's like an older person. That's, I mean, it could be for some, but I'm getting more of like a like a young energy that's picking up on on what you're going through. Devil. Yeah, false information. False information here. False, like lies, deceit. Hmm. 
Hmm. For some, I feel like they want to break up your marriage or they want to break up a like a family or a marriage or some kind of connection here. It's like this person's bitter, this person they like they want they want you back or they want something that you have. But yeah, you need again again, you don't you don't have to be strong behind closed doors, but again, just really, you know, don't don't let this person manipulate you. The Tower, Seven of Pentacles, the Moon. It's like this was hidden. They were waiting for some kind of um, like these these seeds to come to fruition. They were plotting. They were doing something, and it didn't work. It ended up in a tower. Yeah, I feel like the court system is going to be in your favor, especially if it comes to a child. Because this person, if this person's lying about you to court in the court system, it's like if they're telling the court that they're like that you're a bad mother or something like that, they don't have anything to back that up. And if anything, I feel like, you know, there's evidence against them because I feel like this was like an absent father that was kind of like all over the place, like, you know, kind of, you know, came and went maybe like traveled or, or kind of wasn't wasn't there the full time and so I feel like there's going to be evidence against them I feel like this, their spirit guides are actually going to lead them to like trip up somehow like they're gonna they're gonna come up with an idea to try to one up you and it's gonna backfire on them is kind of what I'm feeling. Yeah, you're gonna have this this Queen of Cups is gonna have some kind of success. Anyway, I hope this resonates for you guys. Um I really appreciate you liking the video, sharing, subscribing. Maybe someone that you know is in this energy group and needs to hear this story. Uh, your comments. I really appreciate your comments. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you for helping me get back in the algorithm.